So do you lack energy as a mother or a parent or as a human? Here are four quick lessons in under three minutes that include sacred geometry, Eastern thought, etc., that can help you maybe gain some more energy. So how do we get more energy? We are going to look at biomimicry. And this is biomimicry on the big spiritual energetic level. So we all contain feminine and masculine energy or polarities in our bodies. All of us contain both of these within our bodies, but instead of just being two-dimensional, they're actually octahedrons that are placed around our body. So we both have both. Lesson two, the mother. The mother is a Hindu term that is representative of everything that exists outside of us. And I'm not just talking about the things on the earth and the things that are nature made. I'm talking about the man made stuff, the sun made stuff, the galaxy made stuff. Anything that is external to me equals the mother. Lesson three, receptivity. The receptivity is the chalice part of the energy. And the earth is incredibly good at being receptive. It has this big red giant over here in our solar system that's giving us warmth and temperature. It has all the dead bodies that are coming in and becoming food for it. It has everything along those lines that you would normally expect in the earth and that you learn about in biology. But did you also know that it's not just physical matter that is food for the earth, but it's also emotional energy that is energy for the earth. So anytime you're mad, anytime you're sad, anytime you're surprised, anytime you're joyful, all those things feed the mother because they are all experiences of emotions, which is her field. And then we move over to what we're trying to emulate, which is called transmutation, or we're learning how to transmute. We take all these crazy frequencies of all the energy, of the dead bodies, of everything like that, it moves through the plane of the mother and then it comes out as this beautiful creative energy that is clean and available for anyone to use at any time. Now we have the fourth lesson on how to get more energy, human transmutation. When the system works really, really well, all of these different energies of all the different external events that happen to you and everything that's going on around you and everything your eyes see and everything comes in through your body and then you transmute it just like the world does, just like the mother does, because you and your physical body are a product of the mother. So what happens is, is that the more empty we become, the more like this chalice we become. And the more like the chalice we become, the more we are able to allow the energy to flow through our bodies and to effectively clean it on the other side. This doesn't involve any mind. This doesn't involve any consciousness. This is a subconscious experience that happens of energy coming into our body and us receiving it as food and then cleaning it on the other side. What does not work at all is this. When the energy comes in through our heads and then we put labels on it, we put societal shoulds on it and we put unintegrated shadow work on it, stuff that we haven't actually done and the energy doesn't change. And in anything, it just amplifies and it actually takes our energy, right? So the point is, is that we are imbalanced in our feminine and masculine strengths within each of us, no matter what your sex is, no matter what your gender is. The masculine asks us to put energy in everything that's coming in around us and judge it and put names and labels and all sorts of things onto it. But this takes our energy. It does not allow us to be receptive to everything that is around us. So what we can do is we can reroute the energy from that masculine that's always judging and just be completely receptive to it. Knowing that our bodies are completely equipped to do exactly what the mother does, to do exactly what the earth does and transmute all the emotions and energies that are on going on around us. By doing this, we are able to gain energy from anything that happens around us, right? It may trigger us, yes, that means that's shadow work that you need to do. It may, you know, we may not be able to unjudge it, right? Maybe that's an injustice one you need to look at. But either way, our bodies are completely capable of doing this when we stop labeling and we stop judging and we let it run through the normal system of the receptive feminine that exists within all of us. So try it today. If everything gets crazy in your house, just sit down, be quiet and just say, I'm just receiving all of this and I am capable of transmuting all of this into energy that I can give for myself because it's all food. Mother Earth doesn't discriminate what type of food she receives. Listen to our upcoming season three of This Spiritual Fix for more information.